Yahoo and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So thank you for listening and this is going to be a fairly short recording. It's kind of a, an exercise technique, whatever you want to call it, for reducing stress, tension and anxiety. There may be background sounds, which doesn't matter because it's not a sleep recording. It's not a big, long, laying down, listening to me waffle on for hours recording. All I'm going to ask you to do, really, I'm going to talk to you, but you know, I'm not going to ignore you. I'm going to still talk to you because that would be a weird recording if I said nothing. I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open. Your eyes open. I don't mean not blinking. Of course you can blink. But I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open. Until I say close your eyes. And when I say close your eyes. You're going to close your eyes and all of the tension, all of the stress, all of the anxiety is going to leave your body and your mind. Okay? That's the technique. So, for the next few minutes, I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open. As I said, blink as often as you want. You may find that you want to blink a bit more often because you're more, more focused on your eyelids than perhaps you normally are. And your eyes start to get tired. But that's natural. The more tired your eyelids get, the more deeply you will relax when you actually close your eyes. That's why we don't close your eyes until your eyelids are ready to close. Because it's easy just to close your eyes. I mean, we do it continuously when we blink. It's easy to close your eyes and just leave them closed. But we're not going to do that. Because although that would feel nice, and even if you closed your eyes now, don't, if you did, you'd feel more relaxed in your body and your mind. Your mind would just... And it's almost like everything would just sort of drain out of you. But on a, a lesser level than will be when you finally close your eyes in a few minutes' time. And then there's the frustration of... What could we... No one really likes being told what to do, do they? So I'm telling you to keep your eyes open. And maybe there's a part of you thinking, mm, well, I want to keep my eyes open. Well, I'm asking you to keep your eyes open. And if you're not going to follow, you're not going to follow the rules, turn the recording off. <laughs> I just told you off there. Now that's annoying, isn't it? So you start to notice that frustration. Maybe you start to notice the, the tension in your body and in your mind, the stress in your body and your mind, the anxiety, and it's kind of mixing it up. Hearing me talking now, it's very much, I'm stirring it around and things are moving about where before they were perhaps static and although uncomfortable with a degree of comfort in just being how you normally are 
and maybe accepted it. But now I'm stirring it up, I'm shaking it up. So you keep your eyes open. And you can feel certain feelings which not necessarily comfortable, but not as uncomfortable as perhaps they normally would be. But they're there. And you can feel a mixture of emotions, a mixture of physical feelings. Because they're being shook up. And by keeping your eyes open, you're shaking them up. Because that stress, that anxiety, that panic, that tension wants to control you. But by keeping your eyes open, you're not letting it control you. You're taking control. So by keeping your eyes open, remembering to blink, of course. You take control. Now as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that my eyelids aren't as tired as they were. So I'm getting in touch with how I'm feeling. There's an energy moving around my body, which is different to what it was before. I was feeling quite sluggish before. But now I'm feeling probably a little bit rattled, a little bit, hmm, okay, what's going on there? Who's this, you know, and I imagine it could be someone that hasn't heard me before thinking, what's this, this person, why is he saying keep your eyes open? And now he's saying get in touch with how you're feeling. I don't want to get in touch with these feelings. I want to push them away because they're horrible. Well, I'm not saying get in touch with them. But you're going to notice them because that's what comes up. They arise. It's not about meditating on them. That is something you can do. But in this situation, it's not. It's just being aware of how you're feeling. And being aware of that energy you know, it's strange, actually, as I'm talking, I'm noticing around my chest, my upper back, shoulders, neck, that that's all it is, is energy. But it's moving, it's moving around, it's not static. And it's like water, isn't it, in a pond, you know, if you've got a river, the water moves, the water's fresh. You can drink it. But if you go into a, like a pond, the water's going to be stagnant because there's no movement. So that's stagnant. And also in a pond, you're going to have all kinds of algae and all kinds of dirt just trapped because there's no water cleaning and clearing. It'd be like... Uh, basically our blood vessels you know the veins if the blood didn't go through the veins the veins would just stop working because the blood you know you have to keep the blood going continuously through the veins to your fingers to your toes to your nose to your you know knees and to the different parts of your body those blood vessels need to continuously be flowing and it's that energy. And I can feel the tension. I can feel the tension. And I'm noticing my eyelids now. I don't know about you, but I'm noticing them. And it's not a tiredness, but it's definitely a wanting to let go of it. Yeah, as opposed to needing to let go of it. I want to let go of it. I want to close my eyes and just allow my body to just flush itself of those feelings of stress, anxiety, panic, 
tension, let all that stuff out. And I realise that I have to keep my eyes open until it's time to close your eyes and let it all out. So I'm going to do, I'm going to count from 10 down to 1 and you're going to keep your eyes open and you're still going to keep your eyes open even when I get to 1. But as I count down from 10 to 1, notice how that movement of tension and stress and anxiety and all that stuff starts to move around almost as if it's ready it's lining up to leave your body and mind knowing that when you close your eyes your body and mind will relax completely but keep your eyes open because it's not time yet 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, well, my eyes really want to close now. My eyelids feel tired. The rest of my body, not so much, but my eyes. It's almost, I know there's a reward there. When you close your eyes, you're going to be rewarded by the tension and the stress and the panic and the anxiety leaving your body and your mind. So there's the reward. And you know, all you need to do is close your eyes, but we're going to keep your eyes open because you are in control. You will not be told what to do by stress or by a feeling. That's all it is. It's a feeling. You don't need to be controlled by a feeling. You're bigger than a feeling. And as I say that, my eyelids are getting more and more relaxed and... The blinks seem to be lasting longer. So I'm going to try and keep my eyes open a little while longer. It's a bit like, you know, it's when a, a ferry, like a boat, a ship, a ferry docks, and all the passengers are starting to just queue up, waiting to get off. It feels a bit like that now. I feel like I'm more like just a container moving into the docks, ready to allow these passengers, let's face it, that's all they are. These feelings, all feelings are just passengers. You allow them to travel with you. This stress, anxiety, panic, as well as all the good feelings as well. All the nice feelings. You allow them to travel with you. You give them permission to travel with you. And now you've told this, these feelings, these negative, painful emotions, the stress, the anxiety, tension, panic. You've let them know that this is their destination. This is where they get off. This is where you just notice your eyes really becoming heavier and I think it's probably time to it's time I think to get ready to close your eyes knowing that when you do your body and your mind will just be completely free.
completely free. So I'm going to count down from five down to one. And when I get to one, I'm going to say close your eyes and just close your eyes. And then I'm going to end the recording. So you can just experience what you experience without me yabbering on. And if you choose, you can just keep your eyes closed for as long as you choose to do so. I'm definitely ready to close my eyes. So ready? Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Close your eyes.